What is up everybody? Welcome to another new day here in Richmond, Virginia. Unfortunately, we had more rain, which doesn't surprise me. Yes, guys, today I was supposed to be going with David to work on a back deck, tear up the uh, boards. I don't know if that's still going on, but I'm kind of hoping it that it is. And yeah, sorry I look a little tired, guys, because, yeah, I did get up in a bit of a rush. Sorry about that. Yeah, it's clearing up for now. Slowly clearing up, really. Clouds are moving pretty fast. Anyways, guys, I tried to check my balance yesterday and the ATM wasn't working, but uh, I'm hoping I have a little more than I did. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a look again. Well guys, interesting wrinkle I just found here. Looking, messing around on my computer. I found, and I was looking up, comparing the vi the current coronavirus. I was comparing coronavirus to flu. Reality of it is the flu is actually worse. And we've got the media, play, all the official media claiming that this is worse. They're idiots as far as I'm concerned. The flu kills more people yearly than this virus has ever done. Coronavirus, at, in general, has never killed even a million, it hasn't even gone past half a million total. Flu virus kills over 600, it kills a minimum of 650,000 people a year. And yet, the media wants to say COVID-19 is the worst thing we've seen in years. No, it's not. The worst we've seen in years? The worst thing we've seen in years was that Ebola outbreak over in Africa. And that's that hasn't been put on the news for in a while now. And frankly, that didn't even hit the US. It was Africa that got hit. And we managed to contain it. For there. We managed to contain it for them. Now, we got a uh, worldwide COVID-19 spread and seriously 233,000 deaths compared to the flu. That's nothing. So for those of you who think the media is right, why don't you take a look at this? Compare the yearly death count and then look at the uh, death count of the coronavirus in general. Not just COVID-19, but the com a combination of all of them. Then tell, then you can tell us who's right and who's wrong. I hope you guys didn't take any offense to that little tirade I had earlier. But for those of you who want to spread this news, for those of you who are who do view this, please spread this news about this. Don't let the media and don't let the government think that they've won. They have not won. Not even close. In fact, our government's becoming the very thing it fought off during the American Revolution. In fact, uh, I'll even... Uh, in regards to the whole viral thing, I'll even provide proof of it. Hello everyone, hope you found where, where I'm standing on this whole coronavirus thing. On a 
honestly, I'm starting to believe that some of the, the government, I'm starting to believe this conspiracy theory of the government using whatever it takes to control us. Cooking my lunch, everyone. Chicken and broccoli flavored rice. Minute and a half left. But yeah, you can tell it's definitely heating up well. Yeah, well, at least when it's done. Here, let me show you. Yeah, it's heating up nice. It's heating up extremely well. Sorry about this. Sorry about it fogging up my camera lens. Sorry about this. Here's another decent looking spot for a tent. Nice and soft even. I like it actually. Put an extra tent there for neighbor. For uh, anyone who wants to find a place to stay without having to pet without having to pay for electrical bills or water bills or have to pay a weekly rent or a weekly $200 rent the most I charge weekly is maybe a hundred a week But to be honest with you guys, I don't know if even that'll be possible anymore with this, with the way people are reacting to this virus. But again, don't forget what I said during my rant earlier. Well guys, I finally got got someone interested in that bike light that I am uh, selling. And it's mainly on let go. I'm pretty much doing everything I can to try and bring some money in, to be honest with you. One of the first things I'm going to be doing with this money is getting a bunch of hand sanitizer things people and selling it for well, pretty much what other retailers tend to sell it for retailers outside of the dollar stores and look at that cloud formation that's actually cool look at that that is cool I'm taking a photo of this real quick all right guys I got the photo literally takes less than a second to do the photo but that is a really cool cloud formation yes guys I'm pretty much working on getting some of the some of my uh, financial issues taken care of yeah things should be looking 
pretty good from here. This shouldn't be an issue for much longer. So what I'm going to do when I finally get some cash flow coming, license my music with the Epidemic Sound and Facilion Studios and finally get get everything going. Bring some more fun into my YouTube videos. Well guys, it's nine o'clock officially. My watch just went off telling me that. But honestly, they found a drug, they've tested a, they tested one drug and approved it. Now they're testing another and approving it for this virus. But unfortunately, my dad wants to criticize it. Claiming some drugs killed more than they've helped. Yeah, right. A drug that kills more than it helps is not a drug that would stay on the streets. Again, everybody seems to be justifying this whole lockdown. There really isn't any justification after finding out what's really happening. My dad likes to overcomplicate things. So, whatever you do, do not listen to his side of everything. Well guys, unfortunately it is that time. So if you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and smash that like button. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe and uh, don't forget to turn on post notifications. That way you will be notified of every new video posted on my channel. Anyways guys, I hope you I hope you enjoyed your day. And I will see you next video.